Okay, in this short video, I'm going to go over the new Juno G version 2 software, which adds sampling capability to the Roland Juno G workstation. So let's check it out. I'm going to sample some audio from my MV8000. And I can adjust my input level here, my Juno. So I get it nice and loud. And then to actually sample, I'm going to go and go over here to my part mixer and I'm going to hold shift down and go sampling and press the first function key to get my sampling menu. So I'm going to sample four sounds right after the other. So here goes. So my first sound, divide that, my second one, my second one, third one, and my next one. Okay, so I've got my samples laid down. So my samples are here. It's my kick. And my next sample. And notice I need to trim that sample. So we could do that by using the knobs on the Juno. So get that right on there at the beginning. My next sample, okay, which is that clap. And same thing, use the knobs to adjust my start point. Okay, get right on there and then my final sample. Okay, which is sort of that clap sound. And get that there. Alright, so now I'm going to assign the samples so I can actually trigger them from the pads here. Alright, so now let's assign the samples to our pads. So we're going to go to list, go to my first sample, alright, hold shift, go to two pad, and assign it. Go to my next sample, same thing, hold shift, select my second pad, and assign that. Go down my list again, shift to pad, assign it, that's done, and then go to my second sample to pad, my fourth sample, and assign it. All right. Now when we go back to our part mixer, so And the cool thing is you can actually adjust the velocity of the pads and also the pads send, send note data, MIDI note data. All right, so let's lay this down into a sequence and turn on some quantizing. Let's go. Okay, so I got this groove laid down now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sample a loop off of the MV and I'm going to chop it up in the Juno. So let's start with a new song. And then I'll sequence, um, and then I'll sequence what I chopped up. So, again, to get to your sampler, hold shift, go sampling, go to sampling, auto trigger, and. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we'll do that. All right, now. I'm going to hit modify and I'm going to go to normalize. Let's normalize that, make it nice and loud. And then I'll go in and I'll chop it. So go back to modify, chop, auto chop. And we can preview that now.
Okay, so I got some kind of cool chops out of that. So let's hit execute and we'll turn those into individual chops. And then to assign those to the pads, same thing as we did before. Okay, so I like that. So I'm gonna go to shift, pad, execute. Okay, that's on pad one. Okay, that's pretty cool for a snare. And we'll go there, execute that. And I'll find one other instrument. Kind of cool, kind of like a hi-hat. So go to three. And so now I got my three pads set up. So if I go back. Okay, so let's sequence that. Three, four, here we go. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let's add on to it. So now that I got that, if I want, I can kick out, kick off my pads, and I can add on top of that. So I can go to. So now we got the kind of basic vibe of a song, and we can keep adding on adding on top of that now. Okay, so that's just a little idea of what you can do with version 2.0 for the Roland Juno G.